Hey guys, this is Chetan for Gizmo Times and you're watching a quick unboxing and a feature overview along with a comparison with a power bank from a similar brand. So this is the OnePlus power bank, the newly launched 2020 edition. Actually the first power bank from OnePlus was way long back and since then there was no such accessory from the brand and there were people who were actually waiting for it because the first one with the sandstone finish was quite a killer. And now finally we are seeing OnePlus coming back with this accessory and uh, this is the standard power bank but only good thing is that it comes with the fast charging standards and also uh, the low current mode option. So these are the major specifications here, dual USB output and 2-in-1 uh, charging cable provided inside the box, low current mode and 12 layers of safety protection. Now how is this different from what we are seeing here on the other one? So this is the Oppo's 18 watt, 18 watt uh, 10,000 mAh power bank, pretty similar and with the spec sheet being almost the same, uh, it actually increases the confusion here. So the Oppo's power bank here has the same capacity and the same uh, dual 18 watt uh, fast charging and it also has the low power uh, or the low current mode. Only thing that we see as a difference here is that this has shown the compatibility with the power delivery or the QC standards that's quick charging from Qualcomm. So these standards are shown as supported here but from what I've learned uh, the OnePlus power bank also has the support for the quick charging standards uh, but we need to test that out. Now with the output and input if we take a closer look at it the input rated here is 5v3a, 9v2a, 5v3a, 9v2a. The input is 15 watt and 18 watt exactly the same here. With the output if we take a closer look here once again uh, with the USB-A single port, uh, the first one that is 5V2.4A, 9V2A and 12V1.5A. So we have 18W here, 5V2.4A, 9V2A, 12V1.5A, 18W supported here as well with the USB-A. USB-C, 5V3A, 15W and then you have the 18W, 9V2A, 12V1.5A, the same 18W here. 15W, 18W and 18W, exactly the same. And with the multi-port, that's the USB Type-C port, we have the 5V3A, 5V3A. 15 watts. So basically as we've known that OnePlus and uh, uh, Oppo are from the same parent company there's no real big difference here. You are choosing either this or that but you're getting entirely the same product internally. Externally obviously there are going to be those changes and uh, the OnePlus power bank and the uh, Oppo power bank aren't really different. Let's open the box package and see how uh, these come and uh, what do they include in the box package? So now this is how they look inside and obviously you have the supplier name, Chinese and everything that is uh, common and towards the bottom you have the same cutout making it much more interesting and similar once again. So now let's take out the OnePlus power bank first and this is class. Frankly, uh, I've expected this from OnePlus and that's what I see here. It actually is really smooth but then it also has that uh, uh, carbon fiber finish and uh, the huge never settle logo. It doesn't show oneplus here. Oneplus is towards the back here It's written as oneplus, but never settle their tagline is shown here with the indicators uh, Towards here there are four indicators uh, towards uh, the top and you have the single button That would give the indication of the battery that is available and the same button could work in the low power mode but yeah it now is on the low current mode so this works with the low current mode and it, that is similar to the uh, Oppo power bank again uh, uh, there's no difference in that aspect either and you have the same uh, specifications and the standards mentioned towards the back here and frankly uh, I chose this color because I wanted a different one from what we see on the Oppo one and you have the output ports or the inputs towards the side of this power bank. So these are the standards again they are written over there and uh, you have two USB-A ports and one USB-C uh, that is USB-C to C port and apart from that in the box what you get is uh, the booklet that is the user manual and uh, along with that you also have the uh, Red Cable Club membership card. So these are the things and you have the a pretty good looking red color cable and that is a dual cable so it has the micro USB on top and if, if you pull that out you'll see the USB Type-C so that it makes it easier for users to actually use one of them so it's uh, actually USB Type-C on the top and micro USB inside so you can pull this out and use as micro USB and you can keep it back and use it as uh, a USB Type-C cable so that is what you see on the uh, OnePlus power bank and uh, now on the other side this is the Oppo one and Oppo power bank doesn't look bad either. The color that we have is the white one 
and it has kind of this pattern design. This is uh, the Oppos power, power bank and this is a vertical lines pattern and uh, towards this uh, area is the Oppo branding and again the same indicator with a single button that would uh, have the um, charging indicator and then double press would start the low power or the low current mode. So for someone who doesn't know about it, you can charge your uh, smaller accessories like a smartwatch or uh, your earbuds case. Those things can be actually charged using the low power or low current mode so that there's no harm to those uh, uh, smaller products and you have the same standards written on the back of this power bank and with the um, ports, it's again the same. Two USB-A ports and one USB-C to C port. Now, uh, apart from that, what you see is uh, the same user guide on this one and you have the cable. This is the white cable with the same USB uh, type C and the micro USB standards. So, now the inference is, how are they really different? I haven't really seen any difference and the only thing as I said, is to test out whether these power banks have, whether at least the OnePlus power bank has uh, the uh, support for the power delivery or even the quick charge otherwise it's the same power bank that you're choosing from either oppo or oneplus because there's not a huge difference and at this point i would say i would choose oneplus power bank because of its design i really don't care about the large branding over here because this is in the end a power bank that should be inside your bag not inside your pocket i, I don't like that large branding on a smartphone back uh, panel but on a power bank it doesn't really matter and what I like here is this carbon fiber finish. It actually seems to be a well done finish on the top of the power bank and even towards the curve, curvier edges, it's the same. So a pretty well made power bank this one is from OnePlus and interestingly there's no difference in the price as well. So that makes it even more confusing. It's $12.99 for either of them. So it's the same power bank that you're getting from two different brands. So that's it. Uh, and this actually is going to keep uh, charging or keep uh, giving you the charge if you activate it once. So to turn it off, you just need to press it, press it once and it would turn off that uh, low current mode. So that's it guys. This was a quick unboxing and a feature overview of the OnePlus power bank compared with the Oppo 10,000 image power bank 2. So this is the second power bank from Oppo uh, supposedly and that's it. This was uh, all about it. I will do the uh, charging speed test, uh, particularly with the 18 watt speeds to see if it supports different smartphones with different standards of charging and then we would come out with the final review very soon on this channel. So I hope you like this video. If you do, do share and subscribe to Gizmo Time for more. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.